It is currently Wednesday, January 7th, and it snowed a lot. <laughs> What's going on, everybody? My name is CJ, aka C Jink. If you didn't catch my last video where I worked on some of my old, old beats, I showed a video of all this snow starting, and we're now finished with it for now. I think it's supposed to snow like Friday or something, but anyways, this is episode two of Road to a Placement, where I am going to be making beats that, that I would like to get placed with artists. This whole video starts actually out here with a voice memo I recorded just messing around last night while I was outside here in the snow. I had an idea for kind of a like pop song, kind of like a Quincy song or, you know, just kind of a pop artist, that sort of thing. So, so uh, yeah, I went ahead and took this voice memo outside last night and I've got it in FL, so let's get started. Okay, so here is the voice memo with the idea right here. Um, let's, I'm gonna go ahead and play it and let's listen to it. And the piano chords would be like, bleh, 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 bleh. This is the section when it really kind of came together in my mind. So I don't know exactly the chord tops that I want to use, but I definitely want some like non-standard almost like, you know, some jazz type chords or whatever in there uh, with a lot of ads, you know, ad, ad whatevers. Uh, <laughs> my music theory brains don't want to work today, but I wanted to just sound kind of like I say, kind of like a Quincy song or, you know, whatever, just general pop kind of almost more hip hop pop type song. So let's get to it. So first off the tempo. Dude. So that's 96 BPM. So let's just follow the general melody. I had, I had, uh, uh, okay. So very short. Let me go ahead and move my claps. I like having my claps for my template just to get an idea of the rhythm of the drums and whatnot. Okay, so this is just the general melody idea. So I'm gonna keep this where it is just so I'll have it. And I'm going to go ahead and throw our chords down here. Okay, so do oh, that's bad. <laughs> that kind of works. I know that's a bit of a uh, dissonant chord in a sense, but. I mean, you might as well just play every note in the scale at this point. <laughs> Let me turn the leads off real quick. Okay, I like where this is at. Uh, it might it might be adjusted as we go here, but let's go ahead and do some humanization from. See if we can find some little ambient top sound here.
kind of reminds me of that Maroon 5 song from quite a few years ago. I think Kendrick Lamar had a verse on it. Let's see if I can find something cool here in Contact that I've not used in a while. Oh, that's kind of hard. I think this is in the general direction of where I want it to go. We'll definitely layer up some more stuff here in a little bit though. Okay, so as far as our drums go, I'm gonna look through splats here and see if I've got any good stuff I wanna use first. See if we've got any good drum loops. Where are we? 96 BPM. <laughs> that might work. I can try it. I don't know that that's exactly the way I want the drums to be, but we can try it. Let me see if I can auto slice this actually and see if I can rearrange this to the way I actually want it to be. So let me just kind of separate our stuff out here. So let's see how my voice memo sounds here. So. I think that's pretty much what we've got here. Okay, so I think I'm going to have to do my own open hi-hat, which is no issue. As far as our open hat, let's find one real quick. Might change it out later if I don't like it. I think our beat is really coming together now. Um, I don't know what I want to do for the bass yet. I'm going to try doing a synth bass first. I might record some in, so let's give it a shot. I think this would definitely be a cool one to throw in there. finger slipped so I'm really rocking with that but let's see if we can find a, another one that's a little bit more like suited for a verse or something like that okay I'm kind of rocking with that let me do just a sign base for the verse though Okay, so I really like where we're at right now. Um, I'm gonna probably add some more melodic stuff. So let me go ahead and we're gonna clone the arrangement and we'll just call this track, I guess. So let me get rid of my idea here. I'm gonna go ahead and split all of our patterns and drag them in here. All right, I went through and kind of figured out the rough arrangement of how I want to do this. So, so now I need to go through and find some ear candy as far as some drum fills, transition effects, that sort of stuff. like that. So now I'm just going to go through and finish the arrangement. I may be hearing one more melody instrument or sound. I'm not 100% certain yet, but we'll mess around and see what I can come up with. Uh, I've done a lot of automation and uh, came through and added quite a bit more 
Um, I've got this background noise going on I really like. I did all kinds of effects here. I've got a melody bus with tape cassette on it and I did some volume cuts with just automating a gain knob. And for this hook right here, I think I'm going to remove where we're at and go back to this, the very, very beginning intro here. As far as one last melody sound goes, I have no idea. Let's look through here and see if we can find something cool. Like that. Alrighty, this was a pretty intense project. A lot more tracks and time. Let's see how much time I've spent on this. I have spent one hour and 40 minutes in this project. So it's definitely took quite a bit of time to shape and figure out how I wanted to do this. But I really love this end result and I believe it is a placement worthy track. So let's go ahead and take a listen to it and let me know what you all think. Still not 100% sure how I feel about this lead whistle sound, but I'm gonna mess around with it and see if I can get something I like out of it. Anyways, I hope you all have enjoyed. This is episode two of my Road to a Placement series. It took a little time to get where it needed to be, but I really enjoy it. And yeah, I need to go ahead and finish it up and get it uploaded. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed, please be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. It helps me out a ton and lets YouTube know that other people need to see this video. Also, if you are interested in learning mixing and mastering or beat making from me one-on-one, -on -one, be sure to hit my mailing list link down below and I will get back to you on that. Thank you all for watching. My name is CJ, aka CJ. Have a good whatever time of day you're watching this, and God bless.